Hi, I'm Naz, I'm a travelling teacher and artist and I'm going to be creating with you over the next few weeks with Art Club. So please come and join me. We'll be creating lots of colourful, creative and quirky items, things you can use as decoration in your home and it should be using items you have to hand in your home. So with a few simple items, we'll make some really creative, fun items. So today we're going to be creating some birds of peace. It could be birds that you see outside in your garden and it's using collage, folding techniques and really simple materials like a cereal box recycled today. So lots of beautiful birds that you can hang up around your home. So today we are going to be making some lovely collage paper birds which you can use as decoration in home. You can make a mold ban out of them or give them as a lovely gift to somebody. It could be inspired by birds on your walk. It could be linked with nature. So it doesn't have to be technically a bird that you see. You could even create your own. So the materials you will need for today. Some cardboard which could be an old recycled cereal box a glue stick, some sellotape or tape, a pencil, paper clip, some string, a scissors and an old magazine or any papers which could be an old map or leaflet or even some old book paper. So once you've got all your materials to hand, let's get started. So today we're just going to focus on one shape of bird and once you've got the technique and ideas you can make hundreds of these. So first of all you need your card, recycled card from a cereal box and you need a pencil. So first of all draw your design. Once you've got your design idea drawn you then need to just place a line, almost like a letterbox in the bird. So just within the centre, a few, I'd say about two inches long, just draw a really prominent line there. All will be revealed in a moment. Then you need to cut that out. So take your time with the cutting to get the shape right and be careful when you're cutting around the curves. So keep going and get all the shape cut out. You're almost thinking like a silhouette shape of a bird. And there you have the first part of your bird. The piece that you've drawn there, so that line, you then need to cut. So the easiest way to do this is to fold. Don't panic about being too exact and just cut along there and that will give you your letterbox shape. Okay, then you can now decorate your bird. I quite like having the leftovers of different patterns and things on the actual back of it. So if that doesn't bother, you can leave that plain. And then the other side is up to you to decorate. So take your glue stick and your papers. Now it's up to you whether you rip your papers or whether you cut them. So maybe you could do a selection. So I'll start with a book paper. I'm just gonna rip it up into pieces and place along the edge. And what you can do at the end, so don't panic if it goes over the edge, is you can trim it and cut it off and tidy it up. So we're first of all just looking at getting lots of layers. over the bird. I had a piece of paper and left over from an old map so that's something else that I'm going to use now. So just take your time and piece together. I love the sound of the ripped paper. You may want to cut it but you'll find if you rip it it'll blend in more to the rest of the background. And just keep going until you've covered the bird in lots of different patterns and colours. If you're using magazine paper you can then match up different colours if you like or you could use patterns 
so you can get lots of free newspapers from stores and things and magazines so basically anything you have lying around which maybe has a bit of color or pattern on it or something interesting like texture you can then use so just keep going until you've filled all the bird with color pattern paper texture to place an eye on the bird for example you might have a button or something else you'd like to place on there but i'll show you a really simple way to just create the eye in a moment with rolled up paper um, so once you've got so far with your bird then look at different textures colors if you're using magazine pages then just make sure you kind of maybe look at the similar colors I mean it can clash it's completely up to you so your bird should have your bird should have lots of personality really so keep going don't be afraid to go completely outside of the lines with this because you will have time to tidy it up later You might create a bird that reminds you of somebody. So it might be their favorite colors or patterns. You could do one full of food or biscuits, and that'd be my favorite. Or it could be all flowers, so completely from nature. And just keep filling that. But joy with collage, you can just keep going and keep layering on top. So once you've got the majority of your body covered, then focus on your tail and then a little bit more paper concentration so this is a piece you can you can get really carried away with this which is a lovely thing about it and once you've got your design, you can trace that and make lots of them the same, or you can make all unique birds, and you could do them different sizes to make a family of birds. So your design will be quite messy at the moment, but you'll be able to cut that around and tidy it up. So much tidier, so that's much lovely. And make sure you keep the gap free so keep going and then cover the beak if you have not already and then the next thing to do is add your bird eye which I'll show you a really simple technique if you don't have any googly eyes or buttons or anything to hand you just take some paper a really small amount and just screw it up so you can take out all your stresses of the day on this little bit of paper and make a bird eye as simple as that then take your glue stick put lots of glue and really press it down okay it'll take a bit of time to stick make sure you pop your lid on your glue And then there you have your bird outline. So next is to create the wings for your lovely bird. So take a chosen piece of magazine paper. So this is quite a colorful piece here. And then here comes the fun part. Because you get to create a fan, like an accordion shape. So up to you the width, I usually go by the width of my thumb but it's completely up to you. A centimeter or smaller is fine. So you fold it one way and then fold it back the other. And just keep repeating that until you've gone all the way across the paper. Take your time to get that nice and equal because this will really help your bird to fly around the house. So once you've got your accordion shape, like your fan shape, hold that together and then just give it a trim at the one side as you would have teared that out of a magazine possibly so just tidy that up and then fold in half the piece that the cut that you've made in your bird 
just pop that through. And then we have the start of your bird sign to come to life here. So next thing to do then is you will need your paper clips or paper clip for this one and some string just enough to hang it with however long that you want is up to you and then some tape so first of all take your paper clip and thread your string then you're going to hold the two pieces of paper from the fan make sure you've got that in the center throughout the cut there and just hold that paper clip in place so you're, you're piecing together the two pieces of paper on the fold pop them together and pop the paper clip on for that to hold in place it's a good tip to have this the cellar tape so just pop a piece of tape on both sides or just one side up to you and then give the top of the string a knot if you don't want the knot showing you can move it around to where the paper clip is like so and there is your lovely bird So you can make the wings much bigger, smaller, and you can make a whole family of them. One I've done here has got lovely flowers on it. Here, lots of colours and pattern, and I've used different colours and techniques on the stomach and areas of it. And then here again, my favourite. So we've got a bit of a magic carpet pattern going on here. So it's completely up to you how you decorate your birds with all recycled materials. I hope you've enjoyed creating along with me today. I would love to see what birds you've created and please send me your images with Art Club, tag in Create With Naz. All the links are in the details below and make sure you subscribe and please share and get the word out there. I'd love more people to join me in Art Club each week. Join me next week, Create With Naz for more recycled creative art.